Hi everyone. Well, you know, you can probably tell from the smile on my face, it has to be either a Wine Wednesday or a Wink Wine Diary Friday, or it could be a Timo Tuesday. Those are getting to be so much fun. I wish I could do a Timo Tuesday every week. I know that would be so much fun. But anyway, today is Friday. We are at the end of our work week. I've got a new bottle of wine to open. This is from my 15th box uh, from Wink. It's the second bottle in that box. And I was so excited when I saw that they recommended this one for me. And the label is just so pretty. It sounds really exciting. So let's show you the label before we get into the wine diary here. So from afar, isn't this beautiful? It's like a it's little, like a light like a lemony green kind of color. We've got a regular bottle cap here, but look at the artwork on this bottle. We got that beautiful dragonfly. We got flowers. We got the stone arches there. Maybe that's the aqueduct. But look how beautiful this is. This is Petzolato, Petnat, Hoopa. I don't know what Hooper is. It's a white wine. It's carbonated. It's got that regular bottle cap right there. I'm really excited to try it. I'm a little nervous to open it because I don't know if it's going to be like wicked carbonated, like you're going to open it and it's going to go foaming all over the place and make a mess, or if it's just going to be fine like a regular bottle cap. But anyway, I'm so excited to have you guys here. And of course, we all know it's not healthy for Nancy to drink alone. Hi everyone, I'm Nancy. Welcome to my home. Welcome to my channel. Welcome to a Friday night wine diaries with Wink Wine. I am so excited to be having another bottle of Wink Wine and I normally have everything that you need to know about Wink down below with a link to go onto the website. I did hear from one of our great subscribers, Gail McAfee, that Wink is having some trouble. Um, I did read up on it a little bit and um, it looks like they filed for chapter 11 uh, back in December 2022 and they've had an offer to buy the company in January of this year but after that I can't seem to find anything else that's happening so I don't know if they're restructuring or they took out some loans maybe to help restructure or if they're selling and someone else is buying them so we are just going to have to play it by ear this is one of my favorite subscriptions I have in the meantime looked at some other wine subscriptions to try and what I don't like about the other ones is, is you have to get like six or ten bottles a month and it's like 80 to 100 and some odd dollars and Wink for me was perfect. It was four bottles um, that I could get a month or of course I could skip here and there if I wanted to for $59.95. They do give, have you the option of maybe putting in some premium bottles and things like that that I've done a few times. But Anyway, I'm hoping that they work it out, and I have just really been enjoying this subscription, but just in case um, they do fall under or someone else buys them and changes the whole format and makes you buy a lot more than what I have to, I would love to hear your suggestions if you've got any wine clubs or anything like that that you're in. I mean, I love my vino. Yeah, you know, hashtag Nancy wants to uh, PR for vino. I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon, but... I'm still going to enjoy getting their boxes and yeah that's a fun subscription they've made a few changes as well so when i get my next vinyl box i will kind of go over those changes with you as well but anyway again i'm going to have a video up here of the first time that i opened wink it's going to tell you a little bit more about how it works the link will be down below just in case it's still working and i'll have a playlist at the end talking about all the different wines that i've had so far maybe some of the costumes and funny hats and der Kentucky Derby hats and fascinators. It's just been so much fun for me. So anyway, today we are going to be having this Hoopa from Pisolato. It's a sparkling white wine, uh, Bianco Veneto, um, product of Italy. It's 11%, so it's not really that strong. 
I love the label. Um, I'm so excited about trying this. It sounds really good. Now for their dinner suggestion for their pairing, they had given recipe for a braised peanut chicken curry with Thai, I forgot what that word was, grimolata. And that looked really good. But again, there's so many different ingredients that, you know, I didn't have. But, you know, I happened to see this in my Target frozen section. So I got this P.F. Chang's Korean inspired pork. And it's a lo mein noodle bowl with pork shoulder, carrots, green cabbage, red bell peppers, shiitake mushrooms, and scallions with a spicy gochujang sauce or something. I've had some of their other ones. This one sounded really good. It sounded like it would be spicy, kind of like maybe that one was. So we'll show you what that looks like. And um, I just had some P.F. Chang's, those little tiny baby egg rolls. So I put some of them in there, but that is what my dinner looks like to go with this one. And again, I'm a little nervous about opening it because, oh my gosh, I have no idea how carbonated it is. Um, I had to go dig in for a regular bottle cap. Yeah. Yeah, so wish me luck in opening this. If it gives me too much trouble, I will probably shut it off. I haven't used a bottle cap in I don't even know how many years. Yeah, I just want to grab it. Okay, got it lifted a little bit. Alrighty, it fizzed a little bit, but it's not rising. So that should be good. Oh my gosh, I can smell it. I, I think I smell like pineapple and wine. And because I wasn't sure how carbonated it would be, or if it was like a sparkling wine, like a champagne, I got a flute to put this in. All right, it's got some nice effervescence here. It smells wonderful from a distance. Oh, wow. Oh, yeah. I smell like a lemon lime. Definitely pineapple. Okay. Cheers, everyone. Happy Friday. Thank you guys so much for stopping in, spending some time with me. It means so much to me. I appreciate you guys more than you ever, ever know. So thank you from the bottom of my heart. Cheers, everyone. Happy Friday. Oh my gosh, I swallowed that too fast. But it, it's like a lemon lime soda, kind of like with a little bit of pineapple. This is going to be a really fun summer wine. Definitely fun. Definitely. So you definitely get this back here, the lemon lime kind of flavor, so you can feel the, the tartness of it back here. I sense pineapple and something sweet like that it's on the dry side but those wines the flavors are just really really sweet i think this is a new wine to them as well and um, from my cheat sheets again it's a 2020 hoopa sparkling and i don't even know how to say this next word johaniter it's from veneto italy and out of the 191 people that have tasted this so far and rated it it's got a 3.8. 3.8 out of 5, so not bad. It says it's bright, subtle, and spritzy. Uh, light body, dry, and 11% alcohol. Tasting notes of flowers, lime zest, pineapple, and wet stone. It's made from organically grown grapes. That Hoopa Sparkling Johaniter is a fun, festive, bubbly like no other. La Cantina Pisolato searches for the best wines that nature can provide, and its latest example is Hoopa, made from a grape you've probably never heard of. Johaniter, this innovative variety, is developed with the goal of making wine growing more sustainable and mitigating future challenges in the vineyard. The bright bubbly shows notes of citrus and tropical fruits, purple flowers, and ripe melon. It is nice. It is a wine that's original, authentic, and thoroughly enjoyable. 89 calories a glass.
two carbs, no protein, no fat. So anyway, how to serve it chilled. And I did put this in the refrigerator a few days ago because I knew I was going to have it on Friday. It says it pairs well with Thai shellfish pasta with cream sauce and fries. And again, it's, I, and maybe that's not even pronounced hoopa sparkling. And yeah, this is going to be one of my favorites. If they stay open wink and they offer this, I, I might just pick up a couple of bottles when they have some specials and things like that. You get like three or four bottles and you get free shipping and a lot of times they'll offer you like 10% off or things like that. I would definitely get a few and stock up on those for summer. So anyway, oh yeah, I want to I wanna taste this. I'm hoping I don't make a mess because I do make messes. Yes, I do. I just want to have a little bit of taste and uh, see if how hot it is. Let me stir this around. And I, yeah, I mean, I have chopsticks. I should probably practice with chopsticks if I'm going to have food like this. You know, this would go nice with sushi too, probably, right? Okay, before I make a bigger thing than my mouth. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is spicy. That has got a nice little fire to it. But this hoop is going to put my fire out. Yeah, I'm loving this wing. So anyway, I want to thank you guys so much for spending part of your Friday night with me. You guys are awesome. You're amazing. And I am just so blessed. I'm so lucky to have you guys in my life. I hope everyone goes out, has a fabulous, fabulous weekend. Take care, everyone. Stay safe. Be kind. Be happy. Enjoy life. Have some fun. Love you guys so much. We'll see you in our next video. Bye-bye.